Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. And today it's on Supercraft Bros Reloaded. So this is a fantastic mini game where players choose a class such as Creeper, Spider, Blaze, and fight it out, uh, trying to hit each other off or either kill each other using their items. So you've probably played this on Mindplex or another server, or even seen another YouTuber play it. It's a really fun mini game, and now you can download it for free on Spigot. So let's go ahead and create our arena. What we need to do is uh, fly to the bottom of our arena and uh, left click using our world edit wand. And then we can fly up into the sky above it and do forward slash forward slash pause two, uh, selecting the whole arena as a cuboid. And then we can do SCB create arena, hit enter and it will give it an ID. So if I did that again, it will create arena two. Once you've done that, we need to set uh, some spawn points and locations. So let's set the lobby to begin with. Um, so lobby followed by the arena ID. And hop into your arena and put the spawn points wherever you want. So you can either do SCB uh, set spawn next or the actual ID. So uh, we could go around like this. Um, or you can actually put, say, spawn 3 or spawn 4, like that. Then we need to fly up here and uh, edit the min and max players. So when doing this, you do force slash SCB, set min, the arena ID, and then the value of the minimum players, such as two. And then we can do that for the max players as well. Make sure you get the two values the right way around. Otherwise, um, you'll be setting max players as one for arena four, and you don't want that. The other command we need to do is set the main lobby. So that's SCB set lobby uh, spawn, I think. There we go. So that command is actually wrong on the website. So make sure you use um, the command I told you rather than the one on the website, which is wrong. Hopefully that gets updated. So then we can do SCB enable one. And that is how you create an arena. So now we can uh, make some signs. So let's start with the join sign, that makes sense. So join and the arena name, which is one. Then you can create leave signs as well. This is pretty straightforward, like that. And then you can create a lot of class signs. So in the config here, um, we can look at all the classes. So uh, you could edit these if you really wanted to. I personally wouldn't. You could uh, change like the enchantments, strength, uh, if you wanted to or the name um, so yeah the possibility of doing that is there so to create a cl uh, class sign pretty straightforward um, SCB on the top line class and then the class name such as creeper I'll make a few of these SCB uh, class spider and finally we are going to choose the class of blaze which is one of my favorites uh, so class blaze make sure you do it correctly and hit enter and that's how you create the signs for the classes and uh, the arena so right click the sign it should change it says one out of four uh, really liking the dynamic signs and if my other account pops in and right clicks it we will teleport to the lobby and then we can choose our classes so as you can see behind me um, my other account is the spider class I'm gonna go with um, let's see what creeper has uh, that looks pretty cool, but I'm going to go with Blaze. And we have 60 seconds to wait, unless you do SCB start and the arena ID, and that starts in 10 seconds. So um, there is a slight issue with updating your inventory, so just click once and that will fix it. And then you can go ahead and shoot your opponents and try and knock them off into the void if you've made a map in the sky somewhere. Um, so on the right you can see a scoreboard where uh, it shows the amount of lives. Uh, if you've played this before you know you have three lives and then obviously when you die or fall off you lose one and whoever has the most left wins. So it's pretty straightforward, really fun to play. Um, obviously you can download it for free on Spigger which is great news. Um, and obviously if you don't want to play anymore you can hop up here and use the leave sign and obviously the other players will win if that happens. So, um, let's, I don't know why it reloads it every time I edit it, which is really annoying. Up here you can um, look at the files in the plugins folder, 
Uh, the bottom three you don't want to touch. I'll show you why. They're just um, databases, really. They just store values and locations. So don't bother editing these three. Um, the config and the classes are the ones you can edit. You can change the countdown. I've changed that to like 20 seconds. Um, and yeah. So obviously that support is uh, not fully working. So I would leave that false. And then classes, as I showed you earlier, you can edit this if you really want to. But other than that, it's a fantastic plugin. It was recommended by someone in the con uh, in the config, no, in the comments. Uh, so yeah, that's how you set it up. That's how you use it, and then you can uh, play it with your friends, which is great. So um, make sure you check that out, as it is free. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.